So here are two examples of solving rational equations. These two are kind of easy. I'll do some kind of harder ones in just a minute. So first of all, recognize I do have a rational, something with fractions, equation, has an equal sign. First step is to identify the LCD. So 3x, 5, and 10x. The lowest common denominator would be 30x. What we're going to do then, I'll use this green color, is we're going to take that 30x and multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. On the left-hand side, it distributes because I have two terms there. So 30x times 1 over 3x minus 30x times 2 over 5 equals 30x times 7 over 10x. So again with the green, what we're going to do now is go through and cancel all of those common factors. That's why we decide to multiply by the LCD because it takes this equation that has fractions in it. So look here, the 30 and the 3 cancel loose behind 10. The x's just cancel. The 5 goes into the 30, leaves behind 6. And over on the other side of the equal sign, the 10 goes into the 30, leaves behind a 3. The x goes into the x and cancels. Gathering up everything that's left, my first term is just a 10. 10 times 1 is still just 10. Next term, I have a 6 times an x times a 2. So that's going to be minus 12x equals. So I have a 3 times a 7. All the denominators are gone. So just by multiplying both sides by the LCD and canceling the denominators, I've taken this fractional equation and changed it into this nice little linear looking equation, which we solve by isolating the x term. So subtract 10 from both sides and dividing by the x coefficient. The next example, same thing, step one, figure out what the LCD is. So the second term on the left doesn't have a denominator, so you can put a 1 there if you'd like. Looking at the three denominators, x1, 2, the LCD would be 2x. I then multiply both sides of my equation by 2x. Distribute it on the left. We'll just multiply it on the right. Cancel all of those common factors. So the x goes away on that first term. On the second term, notice I don't have any denominator, so nothing cancels. On the right side of the equal sign, the 2's go away. Gathering up what's left, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 2 times x times x, that's a minus 2x squared, equals, over on the other side, everything cancels but that x times a 1. Now we have to solve what's left. This time what's left is quadratic, so that means I need to get it set equal to 0. So I'm going to add 2x squared to both sides. Be careful, those don't combine because this is an x squared and that's next to the first. And I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides so that I get to 0 equals 2x squared plus x minus 6. The next step is to factor. I'll let you work on that on your own. Uh, let's see, I need to add to 1 from 12, so 2 and a 3, plus minus. So this is a great place to be. I have a multiplication problem that equals 0. The only way that happens is one of those factors has to be 0. So either 2x minus 3 is 0, or x plus 2 is 0. Solving each of those for x, gives me 3 halves is one answer, and minus 2 is the other answer. So again, steps 1, what's the LCD? 2, multiply both sides by the LCD. This cancels all of your denominators. Step 3, solve what's left. And you'll have to be careful because what's left will either be linear or quadratic, 
and what you do next depends on which one you get. Good luck.